All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay Will. So I got an email this morning from Alcatel, and I was like, oh, snap, they got a 2K display phone for 150 bucks? <laughs> Duh, they tried to fool us, folks. They tried to fool us. Anyway, this is the Alcatel 3V. This is the unlocked version, and it releases uh, on the 29th, I believe, the email said. But you can pre-order it now. So if you don't know what the Alcatel V3 or 3V is, it's pretty much a 6-inch uh, pocket-friendly phone. And when I say pocket friendly, I mean price wise, 150 bucks. You can get a very powerful, excuse me, a very big phone uh, for media consumption uh, with a 1080p display, not 2K, the way they're trying to present this. Let me just go straight to that. You see this right here, 2160 by 1080. I don't know why they've got 2K display there. And then when you go over to the specs, it says here, this is weird, 2K full HD display 2180 by 1080p. All right, folks, this is a 1080p display. This is not a 2K display. I could tell you're wrong for this. Other than that, um, the phone looks cool. Um, you know, it's still got that Alcatel skin on there, which I'm just not a fan of. But this is a good looking phone. It's got dual cameras on the rear. It's got facial recognition. Uh, it's got a fake 2K display. <laughs> 18 by nine ratio, six inches. This is actually a great looking phone. And I'm pretty sure it's going to perform well, too. Uh, but it's got, um, the obviously, the 2.5D curved display. Uh, it's got the curved back. The 3,000 mAh battery inside this thing is definitely going to power it for a long time because it has a MediaTek processor inside. Yes, it has a MediaTek processor inside. You've got a 12 megapixel plus a 2 on the rear. So pretty much you've just got a 12 megapixel uh, <laughs> because you don't need uh, two cameras to do the the uh, macro, real deep macro shots or bokeh effects. Um, but, you know, this is the phone, and this is a cool feature right here, the facial recognition. Uh, but with the fingerprint sensor, I have these options on my other phone, not just my Zen phone, but other phones as well, where you can control uh, things with the fingerprint reader. So, you know, you can use it to answer calls. That's how I answer calls on my Zen phone 5. You can, do, you can uh, open messages, camera, email, and, and settings with the fingerprint reader, which is actually pretty cool. They're boasting about the split screen, and they're saying, you know, power and performance because of Oreo. And I don't doubt that. Uh, you know, they're giving you a free case. Uh, but my only issue with this is, you know, not that they're trying, they're trying to represent it as a 2K display. But my issue is that it's got 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs onboard storage. The standard for today's smartphones have to be at least 3 to 4 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs. Double this. Double this and then we're talking because there's plenty of phones out there in the $200 range that are a much better purchase than this. Let's just, be, let's just keep it 100. Huawei's got phones. LG's got phones. Uh, Xiaomi has a ton of them. Motorola has a boatload of them. It, it's just too many phones out there to where I would recommend this Octel 3V with a MediaTek processor, 2 gigs of RAM, and 16 gigs on board. And of that 16, you're only going to get about 9 probably or 10 at the most. So, you know. It's cool, but it does have Type C. It's got all the LTE bands. Um, you know, it's, it looks like a really nice phone, but come on, I can tell you got to stop this right here. This isn't a 2K display. It's, it's not a 2K display. That would be 1440p right there, if that was, you know, for those that don't really know. The front is a five megapixel camera. It does have um, uh, comes with a five volt charger, one amp, so no quick charge, but. And the camera records in 1080p on the front, on the front, and then 1080p on the rear. So you know this is a great looking phone, but you know I, I don't know that I would even want to pay $149 for it at this point. I could probably go get a phone from Blue uh, that's less and has the same specs. Probably I don't know. Is your man Jay Will? What do you think about the Alcatel 3V? Something you running out there to pre-order, or what are you going to do? Pass or fail? Let's go. Comments, folks. Comments.